folks and welcome back to by spring it has been a hot minute since we, since I last done an episode on this and yeah there's been reasons for that but anyways we'll talk about that in a little bit but what we need to do is properly spray our fields because in the last episode we did a little experiment on ouch weed control and yeah on hedges because they're not drive through ball. But yeah, as I was saying, in the last episode we gone and did an experiment with preventative spraying and as I thought about with my hypothesis, it did not work out. So, now we need to actually properly spray our field. So, what we've got done is we bought some more chemicals. Also, we've got a large front tank on it because We've got a lot of fields to spray and I haven't had to make the trips to shop all the time. Technically we can stop there we just crawling through, but that's okay. But yeah, since we've got so much field work to do, I thought heck it. Let's just go and buy the largest things we can get, so yeah, I really need to start moving some of this stuff back because it is getting a bit of our hands and it's clogging up the dealership as well. I'm sure I'm not the most popular person at the moment. But yeah, anyways, we'll get us all loaded up. Actually, you know what? Let's not put that there a sec and we'll get the tank on the front. And the reason why we've got the Massey is because I think we initially used the New Holland for this, but. Yeah, there's no real point on that, just simply because of uh, the power in that, because it's such a big old tractor, it's a large tractor, it's got a lot of power in that. At the end of the day, it's just going to wear quicker in that over time. And yeah, it doesn't require much horsepower, so fair enough, we could have used the Kubota. Or even the Deutz Farm, but the Deutz Farm is quite you so getting one of our newer tractors may not be the worst of plans but yeah so this holds I think like 5,000 litres or something like that so yeah let me get these all filled up a sec and then we'll go to the farm and there we go with all that filled up let's go and since we're down here at the deer ship Let's go and just give it all a quick still service. So yeah, that was just shy of five grand. I, um, I think it's worth filling up with fuel, and since we're already down here at these ships, I think we'll start doing the fields down here. So there we go, that's filling up, set. So yeah, if we have a look at the map, so yeah. We've got all these fields down here to do, and it's just so sporadic. It's not just popping up everywhere, it's just certain areas weeds are growing. Like, these, not an issue to deal with, but when it comes to, that's fine. But like when we dealt with this in the last episode, like doing like the massive gaps in that in the fields, that's manageable. And at the end of the day, it will make sense because we plowed a lot of this. Doesn't do much well for our environmental score, and I still want to get that environmental score at 100. Currently, we're at 71 on average. Like, there's a couple of areas where we, like, we've hit 100 down here before. Got 100 up here, 81. Oh, yeah, I need to pay attention to this wheat field because I think I've neglected that field quite a bit like yeah that's got no nitrogen whatsoever and actually what's the crops in this field soybeans was it in this field here all right okay yeah no nitrogen in that field is understandable but yeah we need to put solid fertilizer in here as well actually sorry folks maybe out of the way. Is that a lung spreader or a fertilizer spreader there? Ooh, that is a solid fertilizer spreader. So yeah, I think 
I'll go and grab that later on in this episode. Go to that field, get that sprayed properly, and I think, yeah, again, after everything, like, I know I ain't perfectly fine. I just want to double check everything, go over every field we've got, and just, yeah. Why are you stopped in the middle of the road? I know this is a fascinating piece of machinery, but I think you're causing a bit of a traffic there, bud. And the, the, you folks, you cannot just walk around. I guess I'm very popular today because everyone is just absolutely fascinated with all my stuff. I didn't realize farming equipment was so popular around here. If all you know this is a farming area, you get used to it, so. Anyways, we have gone the wrong way. Yeah, we'll just nip and tuck around to the dealership here. So you need to go this way. Huh? Oh, I don't know what these folks are doing. Dear Rish, there are some very weird people they are, that's for sure. Yeah, some weird old Irish folks. So yeah. There we go, see we've got weeds everywhere. I think or I just crop. If you hear us just crop but we've got weeds here and that. And whoopsie, left the John Deere out. My bad. Actually we can go and Back in a sec. Yeah, that's a bit too wide there. But yeah, as I was saying, we'll grab John Deere. And there is a OP tractor to use it, but since we've got it down here by the deer ship, let's go and get it hooked up to the sprayer. Or spreader, not the sprayer. More people are queuing up. What are you all doing? Just run you over. <laughs> Just casual off of you vehicular manslaughter as you do every day. JK folks, just joking there. But yeah, we'll get you hooked up. And downside is going to be this for her able to get over to the field. My guess is a big fat no. Because this ain't a very worker friendly map, this ain't. That is for sure, so. Well, who knew causing the crash would just involve hiring a worker? Twice hiring a worker from the same point caused the game to crash. No idea why. But, so yes, so. Had to redo stuff, so. Yeah, like we got the rolling done in the end eventually. So yeah, that's sorted. The bees are grown. Just make sure they are still coming in. Yes, they are. And yeah, I made some little tweak here. I thought we've run out of fuel at the main farm. So let's go and purchase some diesel. This is a 20,000 year ba Bowser and that's going to take some time to fill up. So what we'll do is these work on that. Sort of tidy up stuff around here now. Got everything all service. Worker is on its way now. No game crash, thankfully, so that's fair enough. And yeah, we are getting a decent application. And yeah, this should be done ages ago, but that's one of those things is like you get around to it eventually in a way, and Secretly, you never do. We've all been there, <laughs> don't lie. We've all been there and done that. Hey, yeah, 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 we'll do it, we'll do it, and never get around to actually doing it. Actually, I shouldn't be afraid to turn off and on the spray because, thankfully, with precision farming, it's spot spray. So, as we go along, as you see, it will spray down either evenly. Or just in little spots here and there. There we go. Spots on the right. Bits on the left. And that's the thing I love about precision farming. It's the spot spraying. 
Wish this was more of a base game feature now as an option. Who knows, maybe we're Farm Sim 25, FS25, rather than as a mod in that, it could be like a toggle feature, and maybe make it more adaptable for console players. What I mean by that is a way of having like things like spot spraying, but have none of the other features if you want it that way, have a customizable feature in that. Yeah, that'd be a good idea, but who knows? We know most likely FS25 is maybe starting into the works because, yeah, we've still got another year yet at least. We don't know what Giants is planned for 2024. Obviously, you've got Llama in 2024 in January. I'm going to be attending that. It's going to be a huge experience for me. Not only just to meet other farm sim community members, but some of my favourite creators like Miss CP and Farmer Cop in that. And other people like Scroft in that. Farm Sim Snobby, up and coming creator, them to solid content, and just yeah, a new experience for me. A more a interactive real life experience. And then obviously there's FarmCon coming up next year as well. Uh, I can't remember the details of it. So it popped up earlier on today and that as of recording this on Thursday. This is going to come out Friday because at the moment it is 1 o'clock in the morning. So just recorded Court Farms but not releasing that video until the weekend. Because I need to do more by spring and more No Man's Land stuff. But anyways, we are doing well here. See the spot spraying in action. And we've got a lot of fields to do. I'm going to leave on times 5 for now. Most likely we're going to have to skip till June, but that's fine. So yeah, let's get all this done. And I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here.
we are almost done with the weeding work. However, we run out of time. So it turns back up there times five. And yeah, we've got a bit of work to do. We need to, first of all, take care of the animals because, yeah, they run out of food. Sometime in the early hours of the morning, need to keep on top of this. And even though this was sadly is okay at this, it ain't the best. Like, I bought a second one because I thought, oh, that was partially filled with animal feed, so I could just keep topping it up. I'm not sure if it's an issue with silo or what, but yeah, we're just struggling, so who beat yeah, out my choice of spending like grand on a second saddy wasn't the best of ideas. So I may come to end up selling this, but we'll see how things go. At the moment we're okay for money in that. We aren't we spending money on a trailer and that is solely for the animal feed, like it's a bigger trailer, and it's got a rolling deck on it, so in theory, it should be fine for us in terms of unloading animal feeds and not getting trapped into... Uh, getting trapped by the roof of the cow pen. Yeah, so we're trying, yeah, trying to get the uh, manure out, and yeah, I've got so much manure, I need to figure out a way to get rid of this. Honestly, just send it outright is the best option for us. Because, yeah, I cannot think of anything else for it. There are productions we can use. But, uh, yeah, just nothing that's a real viability for us, in fairness. So, yeah, like, I know on Court Farms recently, there, well, Boston like Court Farms come out. There is a fertilizer production that produces soil fertilizer and also produces a large portion of digestate as a byproduct so we can use that. Then again as well we can just use the manure as a fertilizer. That is not going to be an issue for us like realistically it's not an issue whatsoever but yeah I don't know. Anyways, we're filled, so let's go and get this emptied. Uh, like how much manure have we got at the moment? I do wonder. But yeah, the fertilizing is also done on the wheat field, and that is good, because harvest is just around the corner. I think we're looking at July for our wheat and barley harvest, because if we have a look here, yeah, earn to the final growth state, the wheat and the barley. Actually, wait a minute. Barley is, or sweet slightly. I'll say the wheat is actually slightly lighter, so maybe be August, but I don't know. Cause yeah, we didn't plant that wheat. That was by another farmer, and that. So I got no ideas. We yeah, also we need to take this back. See here, I've got to take this back. But yeah, we need to get the diesel in, 20,000 years, that costed us 25 grand, so in fairness with today's prices, that ain't too bad, that is what, £1.50 per thousand, what, £1.50 per litre? I was going to say £1.50 for a thousand litres, bloody hell. That must be some of your dodgy diesel, or just some primary source diesel that hasn't been taxed at all to high heaven. But yeah, 20,000 years, that should last us for the of the series. But yeah, I think where we go from here, I don't know. With the series, I think, I think we may start looking at wrapping it up now. Maybe do one more harvest next year, sort of skip ahead a bit till then afterwards after this year's harvest, but... Because, yeah, we've got all of our crops ready this year, so just to recap, and to remind myself as well, since it's been a while since I've done a recording on this, yep, got our big old potatoes, that's going to be fueling our potato productions, and get some paprika chips and premium potatoes. 
Also got our soybeans, rape seeds, and sunflower that is purely to make oil. And then we got our corn. Actually, what did we get corn? I doubt it's going to be for silage. Uh, oh, okay, we need to start sending some of these as well. Because that has run out. But yeah, why did we get... Oh yeah, corn oil, that's it. So apart from olive oil, we can have all the other oils going. I will be making bank on that. Okay, that's done, that's done. Yeah, turn some of these off we're using at the moment. Give it a couple of months, they'll be turned back on. But yeah, so that is the diesel in. A lovely jubbly. You, we'll deal with you in a bit. We'll go to the spreader again in a few moments. No, no. There we go, that's what I wanted. Because, yeah, it's time to buy that trader, so... Been looking around, and there's over two options. There it is. This one, the Shroudman, is a go-to trader of mine for a very good reason. Go with the chrome, slightly more expensive. Or we can go with the crampy here, because I think that's got a rolling floor, has it? Yeah, I think that's the one that's got the rolling floor. But yeah, that does require a lorry or a vehicle with a fifth wheel hitch, so yeah. Thinking of what, I'm going to stick with this. 10.2 tons, not too bad. Uh, unloading mechanisms. Uh, do you want one or two? Is there a difference? I'm going to stick with that one for now. So yeah, let's go to the farm and see how this performs. Does this perform well or did we just waste 90 grand? With me, you will never know. And there we go. So, yeah, let's we'll just go move you out of the way. I don't know why you stopped emptying. Maybe because the engines were off. I don't know. Not interested. So, yeah, on top of that, how much manure have we got at the moment? God, like f almost 400,000 litres, and. How much slurry have we got? That's filled to the brim. God, 406,000 years. Yeah, we need to figure out a solution. A final solution for uh, the slurry issue. But anyways, so yeah. Let's go and just go and get TMR. Fill up to the brim. And yeah, let's just see how does this do. God. As well, this yard has become very cluttered. Like, seriously, like, they designed for all this equipment, like, especially if you start on this, like, new farmer modes. It is not designed for this. Oh, God, but. Anyways, let's give it a go. Can we do it, like, just, like, alongside, like, this? What? So, one first of all, ain't nowhere near the trigger. Okay, there we go. And, I'm just doing it. Slightly squishing the suspension, a bit of training of paint, but apart from that, that is looking good. So, you know what? I am happy with that. That is, I'll say, worthy investment. I don't know. Well, I'll say it is. Personally, I say it is, but to be honest, who knows? Uh, I mean, who knows? So, yeah, for now, we'll go and park you up. Use the bunker silo here. And now, back to the spray in. There we go. Got 7,000 years left. We did obviously see the time lapse towards the end. 
we did go ahead and borrow a second spreader. It was just mainly to speed things up because I knew we was having the limited amount of lightfall where it was heavy raining till what? Like two o'clock yesterday in the afternoon, so yeah, we need to get something done there and that was the way I could think about it. Hey who we'll get our spray out again. Boom it out. And yeah, is this she just the cornfields left? Have a look. Yeah, so it's literally Oops. Actually is there a way to raise that? There we go, raise that to the max. Ah, that's doing. No, that is. Now, I thought with these, you could sort of raise in the boom now, like on sides, like flex it in different angles, but I guess not with this one. Oh well, it's not an issue. It's just dealing with the gates and fences. That is a problem there for us, so. And also, it's just getting the lines, like. Backing all up and that, and missing the time lapse, and just but it's sort of constant finagling of it. Before we miss a bit there at the start, so you know it's all looking good. So, but in fairness, it shouldn't take too long. So, yeah, I think, yeah, one more little quick time lapse, hopefully. Just get those done, and then, yeah, we'll start looking at the fertilizing of the field. Making sure everything is fully fertilized before harvest starts. There we go, that is the weeding done. So yeah, I think overall looking at the map, yeah, not too bad, a few bits here and there. Honestly, I'm not too fussed on these little bits that we have missed, so. But yeah, as I said, to finish off the episode, I think what we do is just do a little quick fly around and do any spot spring that is needed, so. Actually, if we pull over here a sec, I can perhaps make a guess, so we'll go to here, precision farming, looking at the nitrogen. Potatoes are fine, soybeans are fine, wheat is fine, uh, canola looks fine for the most part I think. And yeah, I think also like the sunflower, I think. We'll do a quick check on the sunflower field. What is this field again? Having a look. Was it corn? Yeah, it's corn, so. 
Actually, if we look at the pH, is so it's different up there. Is that good or bad? See, so yeah, I think actually what we do is wherever to we're here, if we go down here, go up and across. I'm confident on this. Then what we could do is come down the road, come down the track, go over this cornfield again, then into sunflower fields. And then I think maybe a quick look on these fields over here because there is a difference. I don't know why. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm out in the JCB. Uh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> so yeah, let's go and have a quick look at these, shall we? Alright, so here we are at the first cornfield and actually you can tell by the map there is some few spots we've missed so yeah it was actually worth going over this may not see much maybe actually let's have a look here so if we have a look 118 percent your bonus so 17.5 tons compared to up here we're looking at 16.9 tons per hectare so Yep, I'll say it's worth it. Oh, at least I'll say personally, like, honestly with the fertilizer, these will last a while for us, so it's definitely worth just getting it over and done with. And that's the thing as well with precision farming I've learned is things don't go always as smooth as you want it to, so yeah, I think it's got this little bit over here then we'll check on the next field I think. So that is the north cornfield sorted. Now let's deal with the south cornfield. So actually it may be alright with terms of nitrogen levels. Remember it's not just on the crop type, it's also the soil type. And obviously where we're getting far greater yields up north. We won't we ain't gonna get as great as the yieldish from this field. But still was a decent yieldish and none there, especially when you compare it to the rest of the area. It's like yeah, there's like fine pockets of decent land. Mainly up in the highlands areas, but apart from that it is generally Yeah. It's generally okay, but so yeah, let's get the spread around. Seems to be spraying some bit, so. Ah, uh, yeah, now we can actually see the map. It's like. Again, I don't know why this happens with position farming. It just goes like in waves or patterns. Like. Even though you intentionally need to put it down once and it's fine. I'm guessing it's just that extra factor of. So harmoning going over twice just to make sure everything's done properly. And to a reasonable standard as well. Because again, this is going to affect the yieldage. So if we have a look here, go to here, pH is bad. I mean, that, that pH, that is lime. Oh, great, it looks like we only steal the lime as well. Is it the same everywhere else? Oh, for freak's sake. That is not good, so we to come over this with the lime spreader now. Oh, we're so close to being harvest, it's not one of those things I like to deal with. But yep, yeah, let's just get, let's focus on the fertilizing. And then the next episode we'll deal with the lime. Because I'm in not the mood to deal with it at the moment. That is the corn taken care of, and yeah, if you look on the map, it does seem to be a bit erratic, so if we go over here. Oh yeah, I was looking at the wrong things, I was looking at the pH, not nitrogen. Whoopsie. But yeah, if we have a look at here, you can see where it's a bit sporadic. Uh, maybe that area needs to deal with. Yeah, that area there has got 160 kilograms, but... Overall, it is perfectly fine. It's just, yeah, some of it has been over sprayed, so we have a good chunk of it where I think it used to be grass, maybe. Not sure, I can't remember what the field used to be for, but 
regardless, it is alright and it's fine for us. So lastly, it is just the sunflower fields. So, yeah, sunflower and maybe 154, but apart from that, we are looking good. So, it's our final way in. Always forget where the entrance to this field is. Ah, here it is. So, yeah. Let's just go off on the back and start doing straight pass. And, yeah, we need to put another, like, it varies, but small amount of fertilizer. So, I guess in this area here is good, like the solid colors, but as we get to here, see, yeah, it needs like about 15 kilograms per hectare. Some areas it's fine, but yeah. See, it stands around between 20 kilograms per hectare and that. And you can tell that by the application rate, it's about 80 kilograms per hectare, 37 kilograms, so. Yeah, this bit here is good, so where is. Let me explain it more in the map. So, I am guessing the target goal is around 60 kilograms per hectare. So, basically, all that ain't colored is good. Everything else, not so good. Obviously, things that's been overdone, so we can't resolve that. So, it's primarily this corner over here. And just a couple of isolated spots here and there. So, I think that's going to end it today. So, yeah, I will continue doing this off camera. So, and next episode, we're looking at dealing with the line. I thought we were still on the line, but uh, I'm guessing we're not dealing with the line. But hey, this may help us with getting our perfect environment score. Actually, having a map like this does help us a lot with mapping all out. But also, we'll hopefully be starting on the barley and wheat harvest. The penultimate harvest of the year, because I think, yeah, a good way to end series is we'll get this harvest done, and then at the end of the year, let's just do one big old harvest. Not sure what it's going to be, and yeah, let's just see what we can do with it. But yeah, so yeah, I said, this is where I'm going to leave it today. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Flip it down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, very easy to do. Hope you're going to stay. But for now, it's me Farmer, Envoy Extreme. And I'll see you all very soon.